I mean, it, it's actually quite easy peasy. In order to beat your inner consumer, one, you need to become a repairer. To do so, we'll just sort of use the stuff you own, and eventually, the inevitable decay of, you know, good old order in the universe, aka the entropy, will take its toll. After that, you're gonna arrive at a crucial crossroad, the sort of choice you have to always make when something breaks. Either stay comfy as a consumer, or dig into yourself and become a repairer. Right, let's now suppose that you actually pick the repairer character, so I can continue with this video. So here are eight rules to keep in mind for the journey from consumer to a repairer. One, the entropy dictates the nature of every repair project. Simply put, the entropy disintegrates. Something that was supposed to be aligned in its proper constellation suddenly lacks its harmonious state. A hole appears, absence of material, an absence of being appears. Mm, how something that by definition doesn't exist can appear? Well, that's a different kind of question. Your goal is to harness the creative powers you possess and bring it back to being. Be it with glue, coat, bolt, 3D printed part, fret, screw, or just being a good listener. 2. Visible and invisible repair. If you choose the invisibility, you honor the work of those that came before you. The makers who have manifested the object from the infinite potential of chaos with its specific shape and form. You honor that, so you preserve it. Seamlessly, elegantly, neatly, you fix it so that no one could really ever tell that it was indeed once broken. If you choose the visible repair, you believe that everything surrounding us has to evolve. It has to overcome its old and no longer needed forms, shed its dead skin, transform and rise, rejuvenated. And it's also it's a kind of cool reminder to your inner replacer. 3. If you did your work properly, invisibly or visibly, things will become stronger. It's, 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 it's kind of like everything up in life. If treated with care, attention and love, it will transform you and make you better, stronger. Or, as a repairer, if you don't know how to fix something, well, you fix that. You face every unknown with a courage and will to fail horribly. A repairer is a constant failure, therefore learner. An ultimate repairer is thus a multi-tool, but, but not this kind of multi-tool, this is kind of sh**. 5. As a repairer, you treat the things in your life, especially those repaired ones, with care, love and attention. M maybe you read them fairy tales sometimes, or uh, you just, you're just not being big to them. You place them back to the case, of course in the case the things ha have a case, and most importantly you use them. That gives them a purpose, meaning. And I mean, come on, we all kind of know that life without meaning is, isn't, isn't really worth of living, no, is it? That is why, paradoxically, Hoarded, unused stuff disintegrates faster. Like symmetric and vending machine in the middle of a workshop. You know, stuff like that. 6. As a repairer, when you happen to be in a need of purchasing and you think, well, you have a really, really long thing. How will this enrich my life? Can my grand 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 grandchildren still use it? If not, sh sh should I have it? Or, or them? Or either? If the answer is yes, well, then you meditate some more. 7. As a repairer, when you arrive at the decision to broaden the portfolio of stuff in your life, you get it second hand. You get that one that according to your thorough internet research has the highest longevity, quality, reliability and mainly repairability. You google things such. How easy is to swap the battery? Are there 3D printable spare parts? Are there secondhand spare parts? Or are there actually any spare parts? Would Ron Swanson buy this? Could it be later remade in, into maybe something that shoots stuff? A. As a repairer, you feel blessed. Every object that inhabits your life is saturated with meaning. It serves you and it will serve to the ones that come after you. Actually, the thing is that once you become a repairer, you, you don't really need to beat the replacer inside of you, it just sort of ceases to be. I 
black light doesn't fight the darkness, it dissolves when the light is invited. Be a repairer, not a replacer. Share this video with your inner and outer replacers on social media. It should serve as a sort of reminder that if they're gonna keep their replaceiveness, a repaired version of Lucinda may pay them a visit. Maybe not. If you believe that stuff should be fixable, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.